pretty nice day today, but a rainy week on tap after tonight, right? Especially on Wednesday. A little bit tonight and tomorrow, but really on Wednesday and Thursday morning. That's when we're honing in on some chances, some pretty heavy rain. We go to Pinpoint Doppler right now. Not a lot to talk about. Had a little bit more showing up on the old uh, radar earlier in the day, but those rain showers have diminished at least locally. And uh, the temperatures, well, they've cooled off a little bit. We're right around the 50 mark for most of us. 50 from Paintsville down to Prestonsburg, 49. Pikeville, good evening hazard. We're checking in at 47. A few sprinkles right along I-75 near London. 50 there, 48 in Williamsburg, 52 over into Monticello. Okay, two big areas of precipitation we're tracking tonight. One, this big blob of rain down into Missouri and Arkansas and western Tennessee. That's going to bring us a little bit of rain tomorrow but a lot of that is lifting more northerly than easterly. Now that's eventually going to be caught by this cold front bringing severe weather across the plains tonight. Back into Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, several reports of tornadoes this afternoon into tonight. That entire storm system will progress off to the east. Now it should weaken before it arrives here in eastern Kentucky, but we still will see some heavy rain and some gusty wind from that system. Tomorrow, not too chilly. Upper 40s, low 50s, a slight rain chance. Future view, really not too optimistic about the rain chances early in the day. You can see we put it into motion, a little bit of light shower action. We go into the afternoon, a uh, few spotty showers can't be ruled out. We'll be uh, back into the upper 60s, maybe a few low 70s when we can see some breaks in the clouds. Then as we go into Wednesday, here comes that potent cold front. And with it, we're going to see a pretty decent line of showers and thunderstorms late Wednesday evening. And how strong that line is just depends on how much sunshine we see Wednesday. I don't think it'll be a ton. So we will see some heavy rain and some stronger wind. I think we won't see too much in the way of widespread severe weather, though. Although the rain could be uh, quite a bit. You can see by 11 o'clock Wednesday, about an inch to an inch and a half west of Highway 15, that line will progress off to the east into Thursday morning. Not to mention we'll see some lingering rain into Thursday. So by the time all is said and done, I think most of the region will pick up about an inch or two. Then the cooler weather moves in, although Friday looking dry. Saturday, another cold front and a chance of some wintry mix late in the day. Not all the models quite on board with that yet, but there's at least a little bit of a chance. And... Uh, it is getting about that time of year to start talking about that four letter S word. I don't like talking about Well, it. that, and I was just getting ready to say one of our least favorite phrases in the English language wintry mix. Yes, wintry mix. That's an awful one. All right, Shane, thanks. Coming up next in sports, two college basketball powerhouses. The number five Duke Blue Devils crushed their opponents in their first two games of the season. We'll have a preview of tomorrow night's game between Duke and Kentucky. 